Another banger. Baby, calm down, calm down. Yo, this somebody he put in my heart for lockdown. Wow, wow on YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Marie. For those of you who are new, I'm a registered nurse. I post videos about lifestyle, nursing, travel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to be tuned for more videos. So this is gonna be a quick video. I'm just going to talk about my process of getting my passport. Someone asked me in a comment if I could chat about it a little bit. So yeah, I'll go ahead and share how that went. It's not super hard at all for the person who had asked i'm not sure if you are american or jamaican or canadian or i don't know where exactly you come from in the world but it should go without saying the first step if you're going to get try to get a jamaican passport is that you have to have jamaican citizenship whether you're born there or not you have to have some kind of proof of you being a citizen so now there's many ways that you can be a jamaican citizen you can be born there that's obviously the easiest way there's also ways you can get your citizenship by descent so if your parents are jamaican and i think you only need to have one parent i don't know i think you only need to have one parent i think it's either a parent or a grandparent so it can be a mother or a father or a maternal grandmother or a maternal grandfather or a paternal grandmother or a paternal grandfather so you can have a grandparent or a parent who was born in the land of Jamaica and then you can go ahead and apply. So for that you would need to have your birth certificate. Jeez, I'm Christ. I don't know where this twanging is coming from once again. When I talk about Jamaica, sometimes the voice just changes. Don't judge me, y'all. But your birth certificate, your birth certificate you need to have your social security, your proof of your lineage. So your parents' birth certificate, yee! your parents, like a deed or something, something that shows that they are Jamaican. Then you can go ahead and apply for citizenship. That's super easy. You just go to the embassy or the consulate. The Jamaican embassy is in Washington, DC, and the Jamaican consulate is in New York City. So when I did my passport, I went to New York because I think that was the first time I could get. So usually you have to go ahead and book an appointment. When you book an appointment online, you just go straight to the PICO website and you can put in, you want to apply for citizenship or you want to put in, you want to apply for passport, whatever it is that you want to do, or you can do them both together, honestly. So you apply for it on the website and then you, it gives you an application. So I'll put the application here so you can see what it looks like. So I'm typing in the Pika website. Well, actually, I'm searching Pika Jamaica because I don't know the website off the top of my head, but it'll come right up. Pika stands for Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency. So this is like the organization that takes care of all of these processes in Jamaica. So once you go to the website, you will find all of this information out. It holds all of this information on the website and it has real life offices on the island as well. So of course, you know, you go to the citizenship tab and it's going to tell you the benefits of being a Jamaican citizen. Of course, you already know that. But you have the locations here on the side as well. The main location, which is on Constant Spring Road and Kingston 10. And then they have a bunch of satellite offices. You have the different application forms here that shows you the ways that you can be a citizen. So there's different ways, right? You have the descent application that I mentioned earlier. So that's one of the main ways I know people can become citizens. You can also do it based on like your British heritage because, you know, England controlled us for 25 million years, child. And then also the passport tab. There's obviously to be eligible, you have to be a Jamaican citizen and then you can go ahead and apply but there's nothing you can actually do on the website of pika it's just it's just information sharing so you get all your information and then you have to actually go to a website for a consulate or an embassy so oh look at them even have a nice little youtube video no mm, i'm getting fancy okay great but yeah, so you, you, like I said, you can't do anything on the actual website. It's just going to tell you like the fees and um, how much processing times might be and what to look out for, etc. But you actually have to go to a website. So I'm going to go to the Consulate General of New York because I know them really well. And then I will show you here. This is where you come and book your appointment. So you can go to appointments and then go ahead and just book for what you want you can go for passport you can go for citizenship whatever it is that you're 
particularly looking for. So let's go ahead and click passport, make an appointment. And they're actually not very booked out. They have appointments for next Tuesday, which is like five days away. And you can see they have five available for one time. Oh, they have eight available for one time slot, 10 available for one time slot, but they have up to 10 for each time slot. So imagine you have 10 people for 915, 10 people for 1015. Like we all have been there miserable and angry, but you know, it's a fun time anyway, fun and miserable, but <laughs> yeah. So you just go ahead and book your time and it's super simple as long as you have all your proper documents and again for the consulate in new york at least they're only open from 12 so they are pretty quick about getting through i can't speak for dc because they are nine to five so it might be a longer day there but new york they're gonna get you out because they're not there all day long you just fill it out it's like a little pdf file and you take that with you and then you pay them there you can pay with money order you can pay with card or cash yeah you can pay with cash actually and so yeah so once you have your citizenship unlocked then you can go ahead and apply for your passport. Once you get to the consulate, the consulate of Jamaica in New York is usually pretty booked and busy. They're only open from like 8 a.m. to like 11 a.m. It's like a very short window, Monday through Friday. They're obviously not open for any national holidays, so don't try and go like on August 6th or something like that. Don't do that. <laughs> but it's a very easy process. They do do appointment times and they put multiple people in one space, like a doctor's. They do probably like five people at eight o'clock, five people at 8.15, five people at 8.30, five people at 8.45, five people at nine. Like they do that. So it's a bit annoying that way where you come into the place, security has to have your name on the list if you made your appointment and you go up to the consulate and you have a long line of people that are checking in and you're like, you at eight o'clock too? You at eight o'clock too? How are y'all at eight o'clock? You can't you can't possibly see all of us at eight o'clock. But that's just that's just how they do it. This can be a first time passport or it can be a passport renewal. It can be any kind of passport services Jamaican citizens have. That's what the consulate and the embassy is for. It's for Jamaican people who are in the state. I do want to also mention that they do services such as visas and emergency visas, emergency passports, emergency travel as well. If you have like a death in the family and you need to travel but you don't have the proper documentation or yeah you have a funeral or any other kind of like a sickness or health concern or something like that they do those kind of services as well so for Jamaican citizens who need the help and only we could provide it so that's what it is for so you go there and you present your documents so if it is a passport renewal you will present your old Jamaican passport if it is a first time passport then you will present your Jamaican citizenship to prove that you actually are eligible to have a passport. You will show any other kind of legal documentation. So your birth certificate, <laughs> that word is really killing me today. Your birth certificate, like a marriage license. You want to show all of these kind of legal documents when you go there just so you can fill out your form properly because the form even asks you that. You go ahead and fill that out. You give them the stuff. You pay your money. I believe it was I believe it was 110 or 120 for the passport for your passport picture they can do it right there on site so you can get your picture done by the photographer who they have there and just pay him for the photos i think he charges like 15 dollars or something something cheap but he'll take your pictures perfect perfectly for you so that it, it doesn't get sent back so you get your pictures then one of the tellers will call you up and say hey Ray, 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 Ray. What are you getting? Are you good? Look through your forms and be like, okay, this looks great. Or they might tell you, hey, you're missing this document. You're missing that document. And then you can follow up with them another day or you can even mail it to them. But once they go ahead and clear your documents, stamp, 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 you get your receipt and then they send it off. So they end up shipping it off to the office that is in Kingston, Jamaica. And then Whatever address you put on your application for where to send your passport to is where you're going to get your stuff back. So after in Jamaica, after they already approve your stuff, they will print your passport, put you in the system, lock you down or lock you in, and then they will ship it to you and then you get it in the mail. So that's how I got mine. I should go get it. Oh, okay. Okay, so I just went and grabbed my passport. Here it is. It 
So I'm a Jamaican citizen and a US citizen. I'm a dual citizen. So I have a United States passport too. Just showing you. <laughs> Though that needs to be renewed as well. Yeah, it's a very, very easy and simple process. It's the worst part of it all is just like waiting. Sometimes Jamaican folks can be kind of bright. So when you're in line and it's like, oh, I was, you know, my appointment is this time. What time is your appointment type of thing? Girl, we're all here for the same reason. Relax, like relax, please. Yeah, that's that's the process. It's super easy. Your passport comes to you. It's obviously going to come secure via FedEx. You're going to sign for it because they're not just going to give the passport to anybody. Voila, you have your passport. You're ready to touch the road. You're ready to get your house, get your this, get your that which is my plan that's in my five-year plan so that's why my password was super important for me to have in this space of time when i am working on building myself and do doing the things that i want to do because i'm definitely intending to split my time half here and half in jamaica moving forward i don't have an exact timeline as to when that will happen i have a timeline in my head but it has to work out with school work career it has to work out with a lot of different moving pieces of course but for now, this is a, an important step to keep all of that going and in line and the wheels are turning. So I hope that answers your question. Hope you're able to get your passport if you are working on it. That's it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, look more.